Hi, everybody. Welcome to Reality Buzz Podcast. Listen, you guys, this is a channel where we'll be talking about all things reality. Okay, if it's reality, not reality TV necessarily, but there'd be a lot of reality TV shows here. <laughs> So listen, you guys, there's a new show coming. And you guys know with, with all of these reality shows, I'm always excited, okay? Some of them disappoint me. Some of them, I'm like, okay, this one I can watch, okay? And I get excited and it's all of that, okay? We always want to know, this is the show. I'm hearing that some of the people that worked on Real Housewives of Durban, uh, they're working on this show, which is a good thing because we're happy with Real Housewives of Durban. So if we have any of the people from there, on this show <laughs> maybe it's going to be a good one because we'll wait and see but okay we want good shows i haven't had like good reality show okay good 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 okay we had the mommy club but we need another one we need another one so this uh, show is called sports wife okay like basketball wife okay <laughs> only we don't have basketball in south africa and uh, i'm guessing that the reason that they called it um sports wife is because it's not just maybe the soccer wives or the cricket wives or the, the rugby wives it's all of the wives maybe it's a mix of all of the wives from all of the sports that's why they're called uh, sports wives okay so i'm guessing that the concept is almost the same you guys it's women married to rich men okay <laughs> which some of them are going to come out here and tell us to see they are rich themselves okay and we are going to question all of it we'll be looking at their nice houses we'll be getting inspiration closet and all of that stuff <laughs> because that's what we do when it comes to the reality show you guys i'm going to read the article from the citizen that actually intro properly introduces all of you know the cars uh, you know, if everybody that's going to be on the cast, they talk about who the person is, what is their name. You see, it's the beautiful ladies, guys. Beauty is everywhere. <laughs> I can't wait for this show, you guys. I really, really hope that it doesn't disappoint. Apparently, it's coming, which is like next week on the 5th, okay? It's the first today, one, two, three, four, five, on Tuesday, okay? Tuesday next week, it's coming, okay? So I can't wait, but... Let's find out. So good see who is going to be on this show. This, this one, you guys, like, before I do that, this one looks familiar. She really does. This one too. But let's find out who they are, where we've seen them. Why do they look uh, familiar to us? Okay. It's not December, so I'm nine. I wish I wasn't waking at all on December so I can just sit and watch TV. <laughs> but listen, I need money, so I can't do that. Okay. So here it is, you guys. They're introducing these housewives on uh, the article of the citizen. This is what they're saying. Okay, Sia Bongalapaya Guzanet, uh, who has written the story in detail. Sports wives, exciting new reality show to end next week. Meet the wives, girlfriends, and exes. We all know, you guys, it will be called wives, but we know that it's not always wives, okay? Even in the real housewives. Dakabo Nongu, they are not wives. They were not wives, but they were the Osli. They are not wives, but, you know, they're on real housewives. So I guess even this show, you guys, I mean, I guess you need to be associated with a sportsman. So like they're saying here, you could be a wife, you could be a girlfriend or ex-girlfriend or ex-wife of a sportsman, I guess. But it, does, it also doesn't have to be a sportsman. That's a great thing about this show. So it's a sports... Uh, person okay let's just say that okay <laughs> december is not going uh, to be filled uh with sun sea and cocktails there will also be plenty of drama served with the new reality television show uh, sports wives and that's set to air on the 5th of december streaming services a streaming service of Showmax said the reality show gives you a front row seat into the lives of the wives, the girlfriends, the exes of South African sports great. Directed uh, by Tomeka Shochana, who also directed seasons two and three of Real Housewives of Durban. I think that's good, you guys. You can prepare yourself for some proper December drama, okay? 
any party that worked on Real Housewives of Devon because I liked it. I liked how they did the season. In fact, I liked uh, from season one, the Real Housewives of Devon season one to three, I liked it. So anybody that worked on that show, if they're working on another show, I'm getting excited, okay? Nontlantla Dlamini, executive producer and creator of the show said in a statement, it was important for them to ensure that the first season of Sports Wife is as inclusive and relatable as possible. That's why I was saying, you guys, actually it's not just wives and girlfriends and exes of sportsmen okay you don't have to be a man to be on this show we were deliberate in including the wives partners and exes of professional athletes from lgbtqia plus community athletes who are oftentimes neglected by general media regardless of their outstanding performances at national and international level he said I also said banking app manager and mother. So now we introducing them. Okay. This is the first lady. Okay. Can you see her? Can you see her? <laughs> yeah. I think this is as big as I can make it. So this is the first lady. Her name is Bomzi September. Banking app manager and mother of two. Uh, Bomzi September is married to ex footballer. Tabo September, now second assistant coach at his old team, Super Sports United, a 34-year-old who hails from Eastern Cape, comes from a family of sports lovers who were heavily involved in rugby. Bomzi says that she never planned on becoming a work and didn't even know who Tabo was when she first met him. Guys, we are choosing to believe her, but... <laughs> Home is a famous um, star, sports uh, man and not know who they are, okay? Guys, listen, I'm assuming that Bomzi is a Tosa, okay? Once they say someone is from the Eastern Cape, I make that assumption. Sometimes it's wrong because there are people who are not Tosa who, from, who are from the Eastern Cape, okay? Uh, when you are married to an athlete, your life becomes sports, says Bomzi. All that you watch or talk about is sports. Luckily for me, I love sports and being with my husband that nurtured that side of me more. Speaking on how she handled the attention that her husband gets from female fans, she says, my husband has shielded me from that. I have never had to deal with anything crazy. I'm blessed to have a husband who respects me. That's good, okay? We hope no secrets come out about your husband because that's what happens on reality show. You know, with reality show, even before the show premieres, once it's announced that you're on a reality show, if somebody knows a secret about you out there, it's going to be somewhere on Instagram, somewhere on Twitter. So if nothing has come out about these ladies this weekend, then that means they don't have any secrets, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have them because every like a side chick or something is going to be coming out and saying i am dating your man uh, uh, okay 37 year old sports manager and lecturer krista uh Kampe jane I'm, I'm, i think i might not be pronouncing that right is married to banana banana star refill with jane who is based in italy they've been together for nine years and married for two refill uh, spends a lot of time abroad. So Krista spends a sizable amount of time on her own. Oh, shame. Talking about their long distance relationship, she says that this end is tough, but it's sometimes, but it's something I am now used to. We miss each other a lot. Uh, so we, to make sure that we stay close and connected, we communicate a lot. We keep each other updated throughout the day and keep the romance going. Okay, that's a second lady. Her name is Krista. Okay, Krista Jane beautiful okay and then there's clarissa yes why why does clarissa look like she's going to be giving everybody a hard time she looks like listen i'm ready for you guys <laughs> she looks like that like that kind of a situation. Listen, I like her already, okay? If if I had to choose my favorite without even hearing them speak, okay? <laughs> I think Clarissa is my girl, okay? 37-year-old <laughs> entrepreneur and mother, Clarissa was in a 12-year relationship with Lionel Mapu, a, a, a two-time current cup champion who played as a utility, uh, utility back for the spring box and for the compost. Listen, you guys, I know in these shows where it's based on the wives of sportsmen, um, even though it's not just men, 
a lot of the times there is that thing of, okay, those who are married or those who are still married to, you know, the sportmen will uh, think they are better than the ones that are divorced and they are, there are exes or there are girlfriends, you know? It's like the girlfriends are like the lowest in the rank or something. I don't know if in South Africa it's like that, but I know uh, in basketball, definitely, like if you've been married longer, like Jackie from... Um, Basketball, uh, well, it used to be basketball wives are clans, but now it's they've mixed it. Was it a clan or oh, New York? Yeah. But Jackie is usually taken as because she's been married for longer than everybody else. So I wonder if it's going to be that case even here. So this is what they're saying about Clarissa. Okay, they uh, have now gone their separate ways after their 2021 engagement ended earlier this year. I wonder what happened. We won that story. I hope Clarissa is going to tell us. Uh, Clarissa is now picking up the pieces of her life and starting afresh, okay? This is another silly situation where she might possibly not have as much money as the other ladies because obviously she's no longer with the men, okay? But they are saying that she's an entrepreneur. So we'll see, okay? <laughs> Being on the show has been quite a journey, she says. This is because they've already shot the show. We are waiting for the premiere. The show helped me through my breakup and it has now uh, been one of the best things I've ever done for myself. I made a genuine connection with the ladies and I can't wait for the viewers to see it, okay? And then there is Dipo. Ah, even that one has not Dipo and I. Hmm. Oh, Dipo gives me those vibes. Who the, You know, the lady that is just going to come and speak, you know, her African language, whatever her African language is. She gives me those vibes, okay? I'm going to go okay? Yami, yami, apparel, apparel owner, Tipua Moloi is no stranger to the spotlight. She has been a fixture in Sunday tabloids, okay? Am I missing something here? Okay? A 37 year old so a native, has two baby daddies who play soccer. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. And the child who has played for Bafana Bafana, Orlando Pirates and Sundowns, and now Morocco Swallows. And then Lancine Palane, his teammate at Morocco Swallows. Huh? Okay. Okay, girl. <laughs> so much has been said about me. And most of the time, it's not true. They always say that, you guys. They always say, well, they say so much about me, but it's not true, okay? Dipua in a statement, I wanted to tell my story in my own words. I am in, uh, the author of my life, and this platform has helped me to clear a few misconceptions, okay? Speaking on having children with teammates, she shared the only positive thing about my baby daddies being in the same team is that now my kids can support the same team. We no longer have multiple teams to support, okay? <laughs> Interesting, okay, 31 year old Tulu. This is Tulu, guys. So Tulu is looking like she's one of those that is going to be a peacemaker, okay? Just looking at her, guys. This is just me making an assumption without seeing them because I haven't even seen the uh, the trailer. I'm still going to look for a trailer and see how it's like. But she looks like it's she's going to be that one that is nice to everybody and uh, and then trying to make peace with everybody. So when people fight, she's going to be the one to be like, guys, please come and sit down and talk. You know, maybe you might understand each other. <laughs> that kind of a situation. Uh, Tulum Mbane, 31 year old Tulu uh, from Tembisa, is a stay at home wife who is married to a Banyana Banyana player, Bambanani Mbane. The couple met in 2019, and her family has not always been accepting of a marriage to a woman, but now has changed. In the beginning, my family was not supportive of my relationship, but now things are different. I have their full support and it has been a wonderful journey. I now fully, uh, now I can fully be myself around everyone I love. Then there is Sisanda. Okay. Also, Sisanda, listen, I am very nice, okay? I am very, very nice, but <laughs> people have, uh, okay, Sisanda says, yeah. <laughs> Show excursion officer, excursion officer, Sisanda. Uh, has a baby with Kennedy uh, Moene, Zambia's most kept football player who also kept golf, golf for sundowns. 
who also kept gold for sundowns. What does that mean? A well-traveled 37-year-old is excited for audiences to watch the show. This season is going to be authentic, like nothing you have seen before, said Sisanda. People have always been curious about this world, and now it's their chance to see it for what it is. Okay, guys, I'm excited. I'm getting excited as I'm seeing these ladies. She explained the sports wives deals with issues that are relatable, like parents who have not embraced partners we have chosen to marry and spend our lives with, lack of acceptance of our sexuality, women having to navigate who they are, and after dedicating their lives to motherhood and their husbands, finding and reconnecting with the family and navigating friendships all beautifully packaged into an authentic well shot and entertaining reality series the new reality show is set to premiere on show max on the 5th of december with new episodes every tuesday let's make sure our show max is paid okay <laughs> <laughs> because me and you need to watch the show. Guys, let me just look at these ladies again because they, they're making me excited. Okay, how many are there? One, two, three, and I'm loving all of them. Four, five, six. Okay. Oh, guys, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Anyway, you guys, listen. When I find a trailer, it's just that YouTube and DSTV, they have a deal these two people because my tata is getting money from DSTV. Just a snippet. Strike your video. Anyway, guys, but I just, maybe I'll watch the, I'll, I'll try and find the, um, the trailer, watch it, and then talk about it because I don't want to get a struck when I'm just starting out on this channel. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. Don't forget to keep up with the reality podcasts.